Shabbat Shalom. We can invite everyone to have a seat. We welcome those who are here as guests, here for the first time, or the second, and hope that we can find a way to have a prayerful, reflective moment to turn from the busyness of the week and living in the day-to-day -day reality and kind of rising up, to rise up a little. Yadid Nefesh, page 10. Yadid Nefesh, Abrahaman, Meshoch Abdach,
16, the fourth line. Oh, 
Parashat Vayera opens with Avraham healing from his Brit Milah of last week in the hut of the sun under his tent. And he looks out and he sees three visitors from afar. And though healing and in pain, he goes to greet them. And according to the Torah, they are not, the Midrash, they are not just men, they're actually angels. And the angels, these three angels, are meant to tell Avraham three things. The first is to bring healing, to do the mitzvah b'kor cholim, so that Avraham will be healed from his brit milah. The second is to announce the destruction of Stom and Aramora. And the third is to tell Avraham that his wife, Sarah, will have a child. And after the scene of him welcoming them, which is considered where we learn of the mitzvah of Rahim, of the mitzvah of hospitality. Abraham is the pinnacle of hospitality. Comes this, the next, which is the destruction of Stom and Amorah. And we know the famous negotiation that Abraham has with God when God pronounces through the angel that Stom and Amorah will be destroyed because of the violence in the midst there, that there aren't enough righteous people to keep the city alive. And Abraham begins his bargain by saying, well, God, if there are 50 people in the city, will you not destroy the city? And God says, if there are 50 people in the city, I won't, righteous people in the city, I won't destroy the city. But then comes an interruption in the negotiation, and Avraham says, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak to God. Ani efer va'afar. I am but dust and ashes. And it interrupts the negotiation of the, we know it goes back and forth till we get to the number of 10, and God says, that's it. No more. If there aren't 10, the city is to be destroyed. But after the first round, Avraham stops and humbly says to God, I'm but dust and ashes. 
And upon this little phrase, I am but dust and ashes, we may know a very famous Hasidic teaching, which says each person has two pockets. One says, Ani efer va'afar, I am but dust and ashes. And the other says, Bishvili nivraho olam, for me the world is created. It's a very famous teaching by Rabbi Simcha Banam, and it's often told through the voice of Martin Buber. And so it's a unique, I actually never realized that it was based in this very moment. When God and Abraham are in this back and forth, or they have yet to be in the back and forth, they've only gone one round, Abraham stops and has the recognition that something really powerful is going on. He's arguing with God. And he kind of takes a step back to say, who am I here? And what is my role? How should I behave in this interaction when I'm trying to make God accountable for what's happening while also recognizing I'm just a human being? I'm just Avraham. And the Simcha Bunin teaching actually continues. Um, we don't often hear um, the rest of it. It says, the secret, though, is knowing how to use each of them in the right place and at the right time. For unfortunately, many people use them in the reverse order of what is needed. When we need to be humble, we're off, humble, we're often haughty. When we need to be haughty and powerful and say, I demand, we're often humble because we're afraid. And says Simcha Bunam at this very moment, Avraham had to think, who should I be in this moment? Which pocket should I take that little petek, that little note from? Now, interestingly enough, I think when one thinks about the Midrash of the angels coming, the Midrash says each of the angels had a mission, a shlichut, says the tradition. And once they finish their mission, angels can only have one mission done. Just like I was teaching that text on uh, Tuesday night, I think. can't remember which night. And uh, it's like a mosquito. There's some bug that once it stings, it's dead. So an angel, once it completes its mission, it it doesn't have a mission anymore to fulfill, and it's over. But the teaching of Simcha Bunim and the teaching of Avraham is that we actually have different missions in different <laughs> moments, that we have to look in one pocket in one moment in time and another pocket in another moment in time, that our shlichut is an ever-changing process, and that actually manifests in this very, very chalk-filled parasha which starts with Achnasat Orchim, with the mitzvah of hospitality, and ends with the Akedah, the binding of Isaac. I mean, if Avraham isn't a different person from the beginning of the parasha to the end, I don't know. You know, he, he's hot, he's like strong and powerful at the beginning, and in the end, he's humble, and, and he doesn't question at all. And it's at this moment in time, I think, in our world, I mean, the week we've had in our government and with the impeachment, public impeachment trials, the, the firing, the shooting of another school, that I think we have to ask ourselves, which moment do we, who do we need to be in this moment? Individually and as a community, and different things call on us to be different people, or not different people, but to have an, a, a different shlichut. There is a time to be humble. And there is a time to be demanding and say, this world was created for us and we're going to preserve it. This democracy was created for us and we're going to preserve it. And there's a time to recognize also that it's not all about us. It's not always all about us. And so the interplay of these two teachings of who angels are and who human beings are, I would invite us to think about the Shabbat how do we be able to kind of have tools in our pocket to teach us who we want to be? What's happening in your life right now? And who do you need to be to have a mission, to have a message in it? Thankfully, Avraham teaches us many things about who he is. 
the utmost being chesed, love. Love for those visitors, love for his son, love for God. But he also has deen, he has judgment in his fighting for Stoma and Amora. And I think sometimes we need to kind of expand our playbook. We need to learn how to have a shlichut that is able to transform, to answer the moment we're in now. So I invite us on the Shabbat to think for yourself, where do you need to be now? Shabbat is a chance to recapture our shlichut of the moment and to think what that means for us personally, communally, and in the world, and pray that we have both the humility and the audacity to be on a shlichut, to be on a message. Page 23, the Chadudi.
נשמת נקבלה בואי ושלום את בעלה גם בשמחה ובצורה תוך אמונה עם סגולה בואי חלה שבת Shabbat Shalom, page 27, Mizmar Shir Liyom HaShabbat. Mizmar Shir Liyom HaShabbat. Tov lehodot l'adonai. Tov lehodot l'adonai. Ulezahmer, ulezahmer, l'shimcha. עליון טוב, טוב להודו, Oh 
We continue with the brachot before the Shema. Baruch atah Adonai uinu melech haolam Hashem imaru mahari v'arivim. Uma avir yom oeh v'layla Uma abdiyo ben yom oeh v'layla Adonai tzema ahot shemo El chai v'kayam taminim lochaleinu Leodam v'ayen Baruch atah Adonai Amarim v'arabim Page 40 Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Page forty four. Malhutor, Oh, 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 oh,
ונאמר כי פרדה אדוני את יעקב וגהלו מיד חזק ממנו ברוך אתה אדוני גאל ישראל Also, this week, of course, uh, rockets were floating into Israel uh, once again in the south of Israel, and we carry with us the concern of uh, a very fragile ceasefire in this moment, um, recognizing that with that teetering could bring a lot of destruction for both peoples. So we hold in this moment all Israelis who feel insecure, who feel like they don't know whether they can leave their homes, that sense of, are we going through this again? And we also hold the possibility that if things don't hold, that that destruction will rain on everyone. And so we pray that we can hold the ceasefire, that they can hold the ceasefire. and that there will be protection for all uh, in this world who are so desperate uh, for some security and some peace. We pray Hashki Venu, the prayer for peace, page 45. Hashki Venu Adonai, and the way no less shalom, 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 and the way no כאילו וימליך מלכותי וחי יכול וביום נכון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל בגלה ובזמן קרי ואמרו אמן יש ורב המברך לעלם ולעלמי עלמיה יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנעשה ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שבת קודשה וכל אלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תוש וחטא ונחמתה דמיהן ואמרו אמן 
page 447 with the prayers of the Sidor or find this, these moments in quiet reflection for prayers of your own heart. You take your Koya Sharoon, page four, Kwando El Rainim Road. Kwando El Rainim Road, al campo salia, viva en el cielo y en la estrellería, vidu una luz santa en la judería, que había de nacer. Abraham vino, Abraham vino, Padre querido, Padre bendito, luz de Israel. Abraham vino, Padre querido, Padre bendito, luz de Israel. La mujer de Tera quedó preñada, y de día en día él le preguntaba de qué tenés la cara tan demudada. Ella ya sabía el bien que tenía. Abraham vino, Padre querido, Padre bendito, luz de Israel. Abraham vino, Padre querido, Padre bendito, luz de Israel. En fin de nueve meses, Padre quería. Iba caminando por campos y viñas, a su marido tan no le descubría. Topó una meada, allí lo pariría. Abraham vino, Padre querido, Padre bendito, luz de Israel. Abraham vino, Padre querido, Padre bendito, luz de Israel. Luz de Israel, 
Brahma vino, Padre querido, Padre bendito, luz de Israel. Please rise, page 53. <laughs> Vaisot bayom ashevi mikol melachto asher asa Vaivaret Elohim et yom ashevi vaikadesh oto Kivo Shabbat mikol melachto asher bara Elohim la'asot Baruch atah Adonai Elohim Elohe avoteinu vimoteinu Elohe avraham Elohe yitzchak Elohe yakov Elohe sara Elohe rivka Elohe rachel Elohe Magen <laughs> אל ההודעות אדון השלום מקדש השבת מברך שבי ומניח בקדושה נעמד ושני אהונג זכר למעשה ובשיעי אלוהינו אלוהי אבותינו אמותינו רצים ממנוחתנו קדשינו את זאתך ותן חלקנו בתורתך סבינו מטובך ושמח נפשינו בישועתך וצער ליבנו לאבטח באמת והנחילנו אדוני אלוהינו באמר רצון שמעת קודשך וינוחו בישראל מקדשי שמך ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת קדיש שלם, פייג' 54. אין גדל והתקדש מרבה, ואלמה דברה כאילו דבר מלך מלכותי וחייכון ובי מלכון ובכי לכל בית ישראל ועגלה ובזמן קריא ואימרו אמן, יש מרבה מברך, מעלם ולעל מעל מאיה, יתברך. יתברך וישתבח ויתפר את רומא ויתנשא ויתדר ויתעלה ותלש שמי קודש אברכו לילה מן כה ברכתה ושירתה תשפחתה ונחמתה דם איראן ואומה ואימרו אמן תתקבל צלות תהון ובאו תהון לכל ישראל קודם אבו הודי משמיא ואימרו אמן אמן יש לנו רב אמין שמיא וחיים עלינו ואומו ישראל ואימרו אמן עושה שלום במרומה ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל ואימרו Rebecca Rodi becoming a bat mitzvah. She's going to lead us in Kiddush on page 55. And we invite all the children who are here, all her posse from the seventh grade. And uh, anyone who's here for the first time, we'd love to welcome you uh, and come up so we can greet you and say Shabbat Shalom and offer you Kiddush. Oh, 
page 55. Amen. 
ואכילם ומרמיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא. ויתהדר ויתהלל ויתהלל שמי לקודשה ברכו. לעילה מכל ברכתה ושירתה. תוש בחתה ונחמתה. תאמירן גאמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא. וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We um, want to say Mazal Tov to Rebecca and her entire family on her becoming a Bat Mitzvah. The Shabbat, we want to say Mazal Tov to Matthew Lerner um, and their whole clan, the Lerner clan, Debbie and Eric and Jeremy and Daniel on Matthew's recent engagement to Laura Maddie and to Brie and Brett Calico on the birth of their daughter, Ness Noah Calico, and a Mazal Tov to their whole clan, Richard and Rosemary, and the entire Calico and Yacker families, and to Kai and Chris Falkenberg and their children, Talia and Benny, on Kai being honored as a community leader this week at uh, the Jewish Week Media's Group Gala. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we also extend our condolences, of course, they haven't yet released the names of those killed in uh, California, but we extend, of course, our condolences to those victims who were killed. There was a 16-year-old girl and a 14-year-old boy killed and three injured in Saugus High School in Santa Clarita, California, and this cancer of, uh, of gun violence is unbelievable in our country. We also mourn the loss of our member, Alan Plush, and extends sincere condolences to his wife, Betsy Flush, and their children, Max and Talia, and their entire family. And of course, we extend our condolences to Rabbi Roli Matalan and Talia Chatzor, and their daughters, Yahel and Maya, um, and their entire family on the death of Roli's mom, Julia Tubal de Matalon. Uh, Roli uh, has been in Argentina. Ari just was there to offer his condolences. Uh, and. Uh, brought with him the love of our community, which I think Roli is feeling in a really profound way, even from a distance. So uh, he'll be returning on Wednesday, and um, we'll hold him as needed, not more and not less. So let's be, let's be understanding about what it means to return um, to this home and, um, and find his way in his morning with the love and support of a community um, and uh, there is a fund that's been established in his mom's memory, the uh, Julia Matalan uh, Chesed Fund. His, his mom was, he said, very full of chesed and uh, was a nurse by training. And so uh, all the ways that will manifest in the community in the future. So uh, we offer condolences to them. Tomorrow morning, services are at 9.30. Rebecca will be called to the Torah and post Kiddush, uh, there will be a talk with uh, WISCA, the West Side Campaign Against Hunger, the executive director, Greg Silverman, who is a really interesting guy. He was a chef and opened, uh, had restaurants actually in northern New York, and uh, then he came here to run the West Side Campaign Against Hunger, um, and he's really trying to do amazing things there, so I would really invite you. It's, a, it's, a pantry, it's more than a pantry, and we support it in a number of ways. It's also, of course, part of the Church of St. Paul and St. Andrew. If you don't know about Wesca, you should come and learn. It's an incredible, incredible thing that they're doing besides feeding people. They're training people to be chefs um, in order to be able to make a living wage, and uh, it's very inspiring. So please come and listen to Greg after services. Um, there's Shalom Shabbat in the afternoon with uh, Rabbi Didi Lewitis and Don Nadal for the final hour of Shabbat uh, with learning and stories and singing uh, at 4.30 in the Rabbi Rachel Cowan Chapel. Um, there are a number of other things coming up, uh, including next sun uh, this Sunday, actually, uh, is the Global Day of Jewish Learning at the JCC in Manhattan, where there's a lot of really what it's a, it's a project of Hadar in combination partnership with many other communities, including our own, and Dini will be teaching at that as well, along with other members of the Upper West Side and, and beyond. Uh, so we invite everyone who looks 
forward to studying a lot of Torah. Uh, to do so on Sunday is a beautiful opportunity. Um, and finally, um, we, uh, a number of us will be making our way. I, some have already made their way, but I'll be flying tomorrow night after Shabbat for a joint civil rights journey with uh, the Church of St. Paul and St. Andrew and Pastor Lee Matthews. Um, for a, where there are about 50 of us who are traveling to the south to Atlanta, Montgomery, Selma, and, um, and Birmingham uh, to view all the incredible sites and museums. And we hope this trip will be one of a number that our community will take. But particularly this year, as we're really taking a deep dive into uh, the theme of the year, which is will be work of decades. Um, about race and us, and if you weren't at the uh, conversation on Wednesday night with Yavila McCoy and Dr. Yehuda Kurtzer, I really encourage you to watch it. It's not always comfortable, and you don't always have to agree with everything that was said, but it was a deeply powerful conversation, agitating and inspiring all at the same time, and it was a real big launch, I would say, to the work of what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, and Ari mm -hmm. wants to give a welcome to... Yeah, first I want to welcome their a couple of rabbis visiting from Argentina, uh, Alejandro Bloch and, uh, and Ariel uh, Stoffenmacher, who are here uh, for a meeting at JTS. They are leaders at the, at the seminario that is actually named after Marshall. So at the Marshall, actually the Marshall Meyer seminario, which actually was found by Marshall. Uh, in any case, uh, also I want to also announce that there's going to be a Hanalet Fila tomorrow morning, even though Rolly is not here. So those of you who want to join us, uh, it's at 8.45 in the chapel. And those of you who sign up for the dinner oh, okay. for after services, is going to be in the reception room, so you can make your way there. Uh, I believe that there might be some room for other people. I'm not so sure. If, if you don't have a place to go and you want to join us, you can check uh, with someone. Uh, I believe with Kristen, Kristen will be there, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Shalom Aleichem, page 73. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharet, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech Malachi, Hamelachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharet, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech Malachi, Hamelachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharet, Malachi Elyon.
ייתן אדוני יברך את עמיו בשלום, שבת שלום.